parallel lines and perpendicular lines, and the amazing math about their slopes. California Algebra 1 Standard 8, starring yours truly, Dr. James M. Nuclear here, for Whalebone IRM. Hey, Dr. Nuclear, how are you? Hey, girls, I'm fine. Oh, well, look who joined us. It's the Lion Twins. Yeah, that's right, the Lion Twins. We heard that you were going to cover parallel and perpendicular lines, and that's our specialty, so we came right down. Well, that's wonderful. I'm sure with your help, I will be able to get these lines just as straight as a line generated by a linear equation, which is in fact as straight as it possibly can be. <laughs> but there's just one thing. Uh, perpendicular, parallel, sometimes I have trouble telling the two of you apart. That's understandable, Doc. Yeah, we get that a lot. But in reality, we couldn't be more different from each other. Really? How so? Well, see, I'm parallel lines. I'm the lines that never touch. And each line, the sort of parallel lines, is exactly the same slope. And I'm perpendicular lines. My lines do touch, but in a very specific way. In order for two lines to be perpendicular, they have to come together at exactly 90 degrees, like two walls meeting at the corner of a room. If you can't fit a perfect little square into the corner where the lines touch, then they are not perpendicular. Okay, I get that. But what's tough sometimes is, is getting you guys flipped around, you know? Like, I mean, I get, I get perpendicular lines, and I know there's a certain amount of concepts over there, and I get parallel lines, and there's you know, some of it, but sometimes I switch. I think the parallel is perpendicular, and the perpendicular is parallel. So, what can I do to, like, keep it straight in my head? I get that, I get that. One thing I tell people is to look at the tall hills in my name. Oh, like these ones right here? Yep. You'll see they stand tall, but they never touch. Never touch. I use that to remind each of people who I am and what I stand for. Straight lines. Straight lines. Okay. Parallel, straight lines. What about you, perpendicular? I guess I'm just... perpendicular? The other one. The other one. Right. You keep the L's and then you got the other one. Okay. Still not quite getting it. Let's play a game. Yeah, let's play a game. That's a great idea. What kind of game should we play? We'll turn you around. Uh-huh. We'll mix ourselves up. Whoa. And then, we'll turn you around again. Uh -huh. You have to put the right properties with the right twin. That sounds like a great fun. Let's do it. Cool. Great. You guys, mix yourselves up. I'll get the game ready. <laughs> Keep on going. I haven't got, got the game ready yet. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Uh-oh. Let's see here. Perpendicular, parallel. Now we got the properties of perpendicular and parallel lines right back here in the game. Kind of like uh, sticky notes. <clears throat> First one I have here says the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Reciprocal means that the fraction flips over on itself and the negative you put a little dash in front of it. If there's no dash, you can get rid of the dash. If there is a dash, you got to do both of those things to get a negative reciprocal. In any way, Let's see. Perpendicular lines. <laughs> yeah, they have the negative reciprocal slope. Let me just slide that right, huh? Right over here with this twin. All right, next one. All right, we got the picture there. We got a couple of lines going like this. Hmm. That's parallel. Or my name isn't Dr. Nuclear. So put that one over next to this twin. Now then, it says here, slopes are the same. What do you guys think out there on the internet? Next to your computers. Slopes are the same? Parallel. Yeah. Definitely parallel. Slopes are the same that come down over here next to the parallel twin. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, lines never touch. The lines, see, they go right down the road. They're like this. They come right down. They never touch. That's parallel. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, come on, you guys can't trick me. Yeah, it looks a little similar. Let's see.
see now. A couple more, a couple more. We got lines touch at 90 degree angles. 90 degrees. 45. It's a 89. Yeah, there we go. 90 degree angles. Perpendicular. Mm hmm. There we go. Picture of a nylapur, parapur. Let me see. You got the little L's there. That's parallel. So the other one, like that picture, is perpendicular. Yeah! Ah, now I got it. Alright, alright. Okay, girls. I got you figured out. Let's line all these up so we can see them, and then we'll check our work here. Okay, parallel. Put your sign up, please. Ta-da! That's a picture, right? Picture just like that picture. Got that one right. All right, next one. Ta-da! Okay, lines never meet. They go right alongside each other and uh, forever and ever. That lines never touch, never meet. That's the one. All right. And is that the last one? Or one more sign here for parallel. Lines, slopes, or turn out something so I can see it. Slopes are exactly the same. Yeah, slopes are the same. Cut all three right. This is fun! Okay, let's see, Perpendicular. What's your next sign going to say? Oh, I've got a picture of one of the cats just like that one over there. I got that one right. Mm hmm. Next line. Okay, lines meet at a point and they form 90 degree angles. It says here, lines touch at 90 degree angles. Yes. Dr. Nuclear has conquered another one. Excuse <coughs> me. Next line, please. You have a triangle in your throat. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <clears throat> Slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And, uh, uh, for example, if you have like a 3 over 5, that would become negative 5 over 3. Yeah, slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Very good, very good. All right. That's a fun game, right? Yeah. And you know what, Dr. Nuclear? What's that? Anyone can dress up like a set of lines. You can, too. Mm-hmm. Don't have to be twins, do you? Nope, you don't have to be twins. Nope. But it helps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. We got some more work to do. Sorry, but we're gonna say bye bye to the twins. Bye bye, twins. Bye. bye. Great. Thank you. Yes, thank you indeed, Wendy and Michelle, the line twins. That's the end of this video, but not the end of the standard. Please move on to parallel and perpendicular lines number two to learn how to generate the equation of a line perpendicular to a given line that passes through a given point. I'll see you there. Aren't seagulls cute?